Hey guys, so today is going to be uh, my favorite summer nail polishes. Now, I still do have some of my acrylic nails on, obviously, but three do not. So, anyways, even though I can't wear it on all my fingers and I can't see all the them, for some reason I'm just loving matte colors for the summer. And I guess in the winter when they're like shimmery and stuff, it gives me a pick-me-up or something. But I really like these matte colors, so these are my summer ones. And there's only four, because I really only found four that I really, really like. So, the first one is from Essie, and it's called Mod Square. It looks like this. It's a really gorgeous pink. Um, it's almost like a Barbie pink, if you think about it. So it looks just like that. And the swatch is right there. So it's that pink one, obviously. Yeah, but it's this gorgeous pink. It's nice and matte. I love Essie nail polishes. They don't chip for a really long time. They're just great, and I really like Essie. So this one is Mod Square again, M-O-D Square. So the next one I have is the last Essie one, but it's the Pretty Edgy. And I picked this one out. I think my mom picked the pink one out, but this one I picked out. I wanted the minty color on my nails because I was just really into the minty ones because OPI had like gargantuan grape and it was such a pretty mint color. But I didn't get that because we were getting Essie's. So I found this one and I thought it would show up better than the lighter green one. So I got it and this one's pretty edgy. It's a really gorgeous green. It has a nice size brush and stuff because Essie does looks just like that and they're just gorgeous I just love this green I'm wearing it right now and especially with my skin tone I know it's kind of chipped up there but I'm pretty rough with my nails um so like especially with my skin tone it looks really good I love the green with it and the swatch is the one right there so it's just a gorgeous green. It's a nice deep, almost grassy green. The next color is by China Glaze. And we have quite a few China Glaze ones. But I did get this yellow China Glaze one. And it was like this yellow one, but it was like totally see-through. It looked awful on the nails. It looked like they were rotting or something. It, ugh, I didn't like it. I don't like China Glaze a lot only because some of them are really transparent and you have to put like 50,000 coats just to get it to see. So this one though, I really, really like. Um, I saw a girl on YouTube use this for a nail art design and so I've always been thinking about it. So my mom came home with it one day. So this is called Fur Audrey. I, I always call it Audrey. I don't know why. I say Fur Audrey and my mom's like, it's Fur Audrey. So, it looks just like this. It's like a nice teal blue. And when you look at the swatch, it has like gray undertones. It's just super gorgeous. Um, I know OPI has their new um, Pirates of the Caribbean um, on Stranger's Tides collection. It's where they have Skull and Gloss Bones, Planks a Lot, Sparrow Me the Drama, and um, Stranger's Tides. Stranger's Tides almost looks like this one, but it's got more of a green gray tint. The Sparrow Me the Drama is like a lighter, more matte pink, like this. Planks Law is a matte grayish purple, and then Skull and Gloss Bones is just a matte light gray. It's so gorgeous. They had a lot more. They have Mermaid Tears, which is almost like this one, actually. Um, then they have another one, but I bought my friend this little kit thing, and it had Sparrow Me the Drama, Planks a Lot, Skull and Glass Bones, and Stranger's Tides in it. So those are the four that I know of, and then they have Mermaid Tears, and I can't think of the other one. But it almost looks like a mix between Stranger's Tides, if you've ever seen it, and Mermaid Tears, because Mermaid Tears almost has like the same undertone color, and then Stranger's Tides almost has the same undertone color. But it's super gorgeous. China Glaze brushes, brushes, brushes are not huge. They're just longer. 
and I'll show you what I mean. They look just like that, so they're not really wide. They're just more in length. But I really like their brushes too. So I will show you the swatch for that one. So yeah, um, this one's for Audrey, again, from China Glaze. And it's this one right there. It's just a gorgeous color. It's got almost some gray-green undertints. So like I said, almost like Stranger's Tides in the OPI collection. Then the last one is my absolute favorite. I'm sorry, my nose itches. And this one is by OPI. I really love their brushes. I know a lot of people hate OPI brushes because they're so big. But if you... Okay, I'll show you the size of the brush first. If you see my nails, they are huge. Do you see that brush? That's a big brush. I mean, it's not for small nails, obviously. But look at my thumbnail. That is humongous. I know it doesn't look very good right now because I was a discussing acrylic coming off. But look at my pinky nail. It's the size of my sister's all of her nails. So, they, I have some pretty big fingernails. So, this brush is just perfect. Um, this one is in the color Dating a Royal. This is a super matte navy blue. I love this color. I want to wear this every single day of the year. For some reason, in summer though, it really gets to me. So again, it looks just like that. It's just a gorgeous color. And the swatch is right there. It doesn't look as dark right there. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's about that dark. And then when you do your nails and then you put a top coat, they're all just so glossy and pretty. It looks like you just have very clean nails. I think matte's just cleaner in the summer. I don't like the shimmer. For some reason in winter, like the shimmer, it picks up light. Because there's not a lot of light in the winter. It's always gloomy. So I guess it gives me a pick-me-up. Pick so I guess I like mattes in summer. But that was my nail polish favorites for the summer. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more of these videos. Thanks for watching.